Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'll show simple steps how you can add a light box to your uh, Wix site. So first what we're going to do is pretty straightforward and easy. You want to click here on a plus here, add elements. Here when you're going to scroll, just write in the search let's say light box. And right here you see that it's like under interactive and then you're gonna have the light boxes so what you can do you can add a promotion you can add a welcome you can add a contact so let's say that I'm going to have um, announcement here we're back or with the subscribe here so let's choose this one now when you're gonna choose it You're gonna have the manage light boxes, and here you're gonna have like the edit settings of it. So what you can do is that what is the name? Uh, then you can, you can change it. Automatically display a light box on pages. You can have no or yes, and which page is it on home? But what you can do, you can choose uh, like the where is this light box displayed? Where is it going to be displayed? You can just choose like all sites. Now, when you're going to press no here, so just choose in which pages you want to have it on. Then you're going to have the delay, and this is something that you want to also test with the incognito mode. Then you're going to have the delay, let's say 5, 15, 25 seconds. And then when you go further, uh, how does this light close with the X icon? Okay, or close button. So you can have both if you want to. So right now you see the X here. I definitely recommend having it only because you want to have uh, the people that are going to like easier to uh, close it when it's going to appear. Then when we're gonna have the settings, you're gonna have the triggers. Select like the trigger. Then you're going to have the layout. So you can change the layout position where you're going to have it. So you can have it on bottom, on top, or left, or right, or in the center middle. As you can see, you can change that. And then you can change also the offset, right? So you can always reset it when you're going to choose the position, right? So that's something you can do. And when you're going to change the layout, then you're going to have the design. So what you can do is that you can change uh, it to image. or you can upload your own or you can just have a color right so you can have color you can have image or even a video uh, when you're going to have the design and you're going to choose the picture you're going to have animated so how it's going to appear right now it's fade in but let's say you can have float in i like the fade in but again maybe you like something else so when you're going to have that, then you can have also help here. Uh, you can also customize the animation. So the duration, etc. Now, the next thing, uh, important thing is that you can change the text here, change the art or even the text in your announcement. But now when you're not going to have the welcome one, but you're going to have uh, like plus here add the element and I'm going to have a subscribe here. So like this one here, this is literally the same stuff, but you're going to have a form settings here for the sign up. This is a, one big, huge difference here is that you're going to have the get subscribers and you can change the, all the settings here uh, with the submitting message with the settings here. Where you are going to get a notification? So then you're going to have the, you can accept payments and all of that. But this is where you can add a sign up for the submit some settings, right? Show success message. And you can optimize that here too, if you want to. So this is how you can also add for the subscriber form. 
And if you want me to go deeper into the story, I can do that. Just write me down below in the comments and I can step by step show you how you can uh, add and manage the subscribers form here. Because right here, you're going to find the settings for it. Submit message, payments if you want to, conditions, and all of that you're going to find right here. So that's pretty much about the light box and how you can uh, work with it. And what you can do, the last thing that I want to show you is that when I'm going to press close light box, when you would add like a, some icon here, let's say this one here. Uh, what you can do, you can also have like a trigger for it. So you're going to like link it. And then you're going to choose a light box here, like announcement. Now, when a person is going to click on the preview of, of it, we are back. Look at this. That's something you can do too. So thank you very much guys for watching. Hope this video was helpful and have a great day. And goodbye.